John and Henry, age 9 and 14, never came back. But their father found them on the mountainside three days later, and their horse was standing over them. I had my story. I had my heart. Wow, that Again. is a fascinating story. Um, I had a question. Yes. Just your name. How did you come up with Calamity Jan? Well, it's the story of my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I'm really not like Calamity Jane. However, there was sort of a resemblance. She had 12 husbands. I didn't. I had 14 grandchildren, though, you know, and so we're, we're there with numbers. And we both, it looks like, it seems like from the history that I read, she loved life and she lived it. And I'm trying to do the same. And I love life. I'm living it. I love kids. I love to write. And I want to give these kids today especially some history. They're losing roots. And I think that young people need to take hold, need to find out what has brought them here and who those, those people were hundreds even longer than that of years ago. So that's sort of my little project and I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. that's, Boy, that's it. That really is a fascinating story. I am sure many people want to grab these books and read them. <laughs> uh, before we close, I want to say thank you for coming here with us. And I know that many, many young people want to read your books. Book reading is, is so kind of sparse around, you know, so it's always good to have good material like this, good books that you've written to keep the kids entertained. It's very important. Thank you again, Jan, for being with us. Thank Her. you. We appreciate it very much. And thank you so much for inviting me. It was wonderful to be here. I should put this calamity hat on, don't you think? <laughs> it's been great. It's just a pleasure to be here today. We are here in Carson City, the capital of Nevada, and we're here with the governor of the state, Kenny C. Gwynn. Really, it's an honor to have you here. Welcome to Offhand, Governor. Well, Herb, the honor is mine to have you here. It's a pleasure to welcome your show to Northern Nevada. We're proud to play host to the only variety entertainment show aimed at the early, nearly 28 million people in the U.S. who are deaf or hard of hearing, as well as hearing viewers. Well, thank you, Governor, for giving us access to all of the things here that Nevada has to offer. I know that so many people are aware of, you know, the casinos and hotels here in the state, but so many people, I'm sure, are not aware of the other beautiful things that you have to offer. We intend to look around and learn about those places. So we're ready to investigate. Well, yes, uh, our state is truly diversified. In addition to the great vacation spots and outstanding new home developments, we have many historical places for you to visit, and I know you're going to enjoy them. I hope you take advantage of everything that makes Nevada so unique, and I want to welcome you, Herb, to the Silver State. Well, I know that Herb and I will take advantage of all the fun and excitement that we've heard so much about, and that's the reason why, feeling lucky, I packed my pocket full of nickels. I'm ready. Yes, I will be needing that. Yes. Anyway, thank you once again you. for your kindness. Really, it's an honor. We're ready. We're ready to go and investigate. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've had a wonderful time here in northern Nevada, and we plan to be back soon with more offhand adventures. Right, but now we got to go because the car is waiting. Let's go.
Hi, I'm Herb Larson, and I'm Bill Pugin. Watch for us on Herb Larson's Offhand. We're going to be traveling all over, visiting different people and meeting different places. Watch for us on Herb Larson's Offhand. We're going to be <laughs> we're going to be pulling our hair out. Okay, still rolling. Still rolling. <laughs> watch, 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 watch for us. Yep. We're going to be visiting different places. <laughs>